Welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to use sockets in Unreal Engine. I'll show you how to create socket for your static mesh and use it for your level. And I'll also show you how to use sockets to attach objects to bones and skeletal meshes. Once set up, you could attach your objects, weapons, and, or any other actor from a level or in the blueprint. Let's get into it. So first off, we're going to show you how it's done for static meshes. So on the content drawer here, I'm using, by the way, a starter pack. Plus, I downloaded some items from the marketplace. I'm using the free for the month Goblin Warrior modular uh, from here as an asset. Uh, you could use any asset you like uh, for the skeletal mesh. Uh, here for the static mesh, I'm going to first start off with the door frame. So I'm going to double click this and it's going to load up this static mesh editor. And under here, you have details and socket manager. So click on socket manager here and here. I'm going to say door and you would see this appears at the base here. So you could move this using manually or use uh, the uh, transform here. So for me, I'm just going to key in 42 there, save this and then drag that into my level. So let me zoom in, zoom out a bit. And I'm going to drag the door, the SM door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this door to that level. So I could manually do this um, like so. But a better way is to attach it using the socket. So I'm going to right click here and search for that SM door frame. And here it's showing me the sockets available. So I could click on that. Now I could reset the location here so if I reset the location there it's gonna snap to that socket so that's how you would use it for static meshes cool uh, let's try the goblin so here I have a goblin skeletal mesh uh, right here so I have a goblin skeletal mesh here I'm gonna open it up it's gonna open up this editor so what I want is to create a socket near the bone here so I could click on this character under bones select all hierarchy and then I'll be able to see uh, all the bones so I could click here which I think is the pelvis and under the pelvis I could right click here and select uh, add socket so I'm gonna say pelvis socket is fine and from here you could right click and add preview asset and from here, I'm going to uh, search for skirt and let's select that. And as you can see, it's out of place. So I'm going to select that and position it. So to position it, I'm just going to do this. I'm also going to use the front here and just drag it like so. Let me go back to my perspective. That looks fine. Cool. I'm going to save it. And then this time, I'm going to drag this um, stat skeleton mesh, as you can see here, SK Epic uh, Goblin. And then I'm going to go under the armor here, and I'm going to grab that skirt. Oops, I think I grabbed a couple of them. So I have a skirt here, so the same thing, you could position it like so, or better, here in the outliner, you could drag and drop it, and then it's going to ask you which uh, socket, so I'm going to select um, the pelvis uh, socket that we created, and then just reset the, everything here, the location, the transform, and it's going to snap that to your uh, skeletal mesh like so, like how you did it there. Cool. So that's how you, you would do it for the uh, skeletal mesh from the, out, from the level. So, but the cool thing is you could also do this for the blueprint. So let me open up the content drawer and let's open up the third person. Uh, third person, I'm using this guy, right? Let me go to the viewport here. I'm using this guy. So. I could add a 
um, a static mesh here. Let's say static mesh. And drag it on that actor. And I could, let's say, the lamp. And then I could manually position this, uh, rotate it, position it uh, however I like. Oops. Or put it in the hands of the actor and such. But that's not a good way to do this. So the good way is to also use the bone. So I'm just going to delete this for now. And go to the character folder here on my content drawer. Select the mannequin. Then select the mesh. And look for the SKM Manny Skeletal Mesh. So from here, because I have that show bones hierarchy selected, I could click here on the hand. Hand underscore R is what's selected. And I could click on add a socket. And from there, I'm just going to rename this socket a little bit. Uh, there should be a detail here. You could click on window and click on details and it would show that. Um, I'm just going to say hand socket for now. And then you could do the same thing. You could preview it here and then uh, let's add a axe. I think there's an axe on from one of those um, from the goblin. Cool. So there's this funky looking axe. I could just twist it a little bit. I'm going to remove the snapping and just move it next to our guy here. Just eyeballing it like so. That should be good enough. I'll save it. So now I'm going to jump back to my third person character here. I'm going to click under the mesh and then add a static mesh. And then call this weapon. So because it's a static mesh, only static mesh items appear here. So if I search for axe, only the static mesh items appear here. So and and then under parent socket here, I could click on that and select the new socket that we created, hand socket, and that should snap in place. And when we go to our third person map and play, you would see the character has that axe on uh, their hand on the right hand so I could go back here and probably create another socket I want one at the spine so I think it's called spine 5 yep spine 5 and I could create a new socket here I said preview this again I'm going to say remove, remove all attach click here preview say search for that X and just position this axe to the back of the character like so let's go back to perspective and then we'll just rotate this like so yep save now going back to my third person i'm gonna create a uh, simple keyboard uh, event so here Gonna right click and search for H key. Scroll down a little bit here and select that. Zoom in. So, what I wanna happen is when I uh, press it, I wanna do a flip flop. And here I'm gonna uh, attach component to component. So, this one. Oops, this is not the right one. So the target here is the weapon. So grab that from the component there. And the parent is where you want to attach it. So right now the character is just called mesh here. So that's what I want to do there. And for the socket name, um, first let's call the hand socket. And location rule select put this all to snap the target like so now I'm gonna copy this control D and for 
hook that up for the flip flop now we're going to change the socket name so the name of the socket that we created is called spine underscore 05 socket i'm just going to paste that in there and then compile save do it again and i hit the h key it's going to toggle putting it to the back of the character then back in the hand so right now it's not animating so we'll cover animation in another tutorial cool so that's how you use sockets hope you learned something new thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to my youtube channel cheers bye for now